detector. Well, sometimes species can absorb the light and convert one colour into another. So, for instance, we can take the UV light and convert this into visible light, light that we can see. So we can't, our eyes can't actually see UV light, but they can see other colours. And so here we have some tonic, just some normal tonic, but in UV, this glows really rather nicely. I have some fluorescein here. This glows rather nicely. I have some solutions here. These solutions contain organic polymers that were actually discovered in this laboratory. We have some, a red polymer, a greeny-yellow polymer, and a bluey polymer. In fact, these, they're not only excited with UV light, they're also excited using an elect electric current. We're going to see these in the future making up our televisions. We also have some minerals down here, and these minerals glow. Uh, this one gives out a, a rather intense yellow light. The other thing that I have here is a fruit bowl. Well, here we are. You can see the fruit bowl glowing. This fruit bowl actually contains uranium. Okay. We'll come back to that in just a second, just while I'm here. If we have the lights up, please, I'll show you this 20-pound note. You can see in the corner of this, just glowing there, 20. You can't see that in visible light, only under UV. We see the 20 showing there. Okay. Well, let's come back to my uranium fruit bowl. So uranium was one of the elements in the periodic table. And remember, this one is also radioactive. So perhaps my fruit bowl is radioactive. Well, let's see. I'll just have to bend over here so you can hear the Geiger counter. And yes, indeed. It is a radioactive fruit bowl. <laughs> so we'll have to be careful what we do with that. OK, so where it converts one form of light energy, the UV light, into a visible type is called fluorescence. And of course, this will be familiar to you with the um, fluorescent tubes that you have at home. 